Okay guys, now one way to organize your code is by using dependencies. Suppose we have a product page where we have a list of products that we are selling and a review page where the user posts a review. We might be creating a lot of controllers and a lot of directives for that purpose. This would lead to sort of cluttering in our app.js code and functionality which we do not want. Imagine going through hundreds of directives and not knowing for which page the directive belongs to. So what we are going to do is we are going to reorganize our code. The first thing is create a new file and copy the entire app.js but this time rename my app to review app. So we have created okay review.js so what we have done is created a new module in our angular application called review app in our app.js we are going to delete the controller and the directive and we are going to specify a dependency now remember this empty array that we had specified in our very first tutorial now this is for the list of dependencies and in our case we are going to specify review. Now what we mean to say is that we have a module called app but this module app is going to depend on the working of another module called review app. By doing so we can minimize the code in our app.js and we can have several modules just like review.js such as product.js we can have a dependency on another module as well. This is just a good way of coding practice. So the last thing we're going to do is go back to our index.html and include the script. So script type is text slash JavaScript and source is equal to review.js. Now go ahead and save index.html, save user info, save app.js, save review.js. Go back to your browser. When you reload, Okay, let me just check review.js app equals review app. I'm sorry, so this is review app. Save it, go back to your browser, reload it. Now we have nothing changed from what we had, but we have just reorganized our code and made it much more. That what can we say? Much more clean. Anyway, I think we are in a good position. I think we can move forward to creating our very first Angular application. If you guys have any more topics that you want to know about, please leave a comment. I'll try to make video, especially for those. And anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.